the old Fortnite island is one of the most legendary places in gaming history. So to revisit some old memories, I'm gonna build it in my hardcore world. But how exactly am I gonna do this? Well, let's start by visiting the old island to figure out a plan. Wow, this is so cool. Oh my god, I love this. Wait, you can search bushes? How do you crank 90s in this version? Okay, I'm getting distracted. How on earth am I gonna build all of this? That's a good question. I don't know. First, I built the outline based on the map. Then I wanted to fill in the center with random blocks, but I completely ran out of materials like 12% in. So then I went back and forth getting blocks and filling gaps. 570 days in and I just built my first cobblestone generator. Okay, but how do I get the exact shape of the island? And... Introducing 3D. You import the image to Blender, let it think for a second, and boom, 3D shape of the Fortnite island in my Minecraft world. It's that simple, right? I had to give it to Trippy Dog, the best 3D artist I know, so that he can do his Blender shenanigans and give me a rough shape of the island to work with. So with the Lightmatica mod, I can see a hologram of the island so that I know where to place blocks. I can also see the materialist. Uh, I need 98,000 grass, 70,000 dirt, and 50,000 stone. I have no idea how I'm gonna get that. So I afk for 24 Minecraft days until I got all the stone, but that was undoubtedly the easiest item to collect. There we go. Now time for dirt and grass. This is gonna take forever. Six and a half shovels later. I'm only 1% done and I'm already suffering. So I started doing some research. This is the stupidest dirt farm design I've ever seen. I'm definitely not building that. Another method is that I can combine dirt with gravel and get coarse dirt. Then I can use a hoe to turn it back into dirt. So I'm basically doubling my dirt. But that is not gonna work for a larger scale. Okay, I don't think this farm is really working. I think I just came up with the most genius and yet the most stupid idea on how to collect dirt. Hear me out, there are five steps to my plan. First, I build a stacking raid farm. Now I have to transport villagers. That's all the tracks for villagers. You reckon I can make this clutch? Oh, what? Anyways, villagers were on their way. That's the farm done. Let's get Bad Omen real quick and see if it's working. So far, so good. Oh snap, they're not supposed to be here. Oh no, 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 okay. There's like six raids here at the same time. As always, escaping saved me from my problems. Apparently, I left some blocks for pillagers to spawn on, but it's all good now. I afk there for over five hours exclusively collecting emeralds. That is almost six double chests full of emerald blocks. Now I gotta wait for a wandering trader. So in the meantime, I'm gonna build a concrete converter that will help me get dirt later. Once again, I'm using Lightmatica to help me with building. We need coral for TNT duplication. And it's working perfectly. But I actually don't need it until I get Bodzel. The Wandering Trader finally spawned, so I gave him an offer. Listen, bud, I either have a loaded gun or a bag full of money. You better sell me Bodzel. Yes, perfect. Okay, okay, okay. You may be asking, why Bodzel? Well, Bodzel happens to be the only block that you can buy for emeralds and turns it to dirt when broken. So I started buying all the Bodzel. Now you might be wondering, how is this guy not locking his trades? Well, that's one of the options in the Tweaker Room mod. That, that's literally the answer. Right, the first guy disappeared about 70% in, so I had to wait for a new one. In the meantime, I got more shulker boxes. I also hit day 750. And finally, a trader spawned. Right, now we're gonna use the concrete converter I got before to turn Podzel into dirt. And on day 800, I converted all the pot. Wait, 800? So that means we have all the dirt? Well, no. See, this farm converts about 97% of your items and the rest gets blown up. So we just gotta get a bit more manually. Alright, so that is 98 shulker boxes full of dirt. Right, yeah, that is, that is all the items, yeah. Wow. Right, let's get to building. As you can see, this took me a while. Naturally, placing 170,000 dirt is really time consuming. But generally, it was a pretty relaxing experience. Eventually, about 90 Minecraft days later, I was done with the shape of the island. Right, the next step is to add a grass on the top layer. This shouldn't take too long. Now that grass is spreading onto dirt, I shall add water to the river and loot lake. That is so cool, oh my god. What I don't like are these edges. Let's just fix that really quickly. Yeah, that is so much better. It's still very empty though. We all know that spamming bone meal is a solution to every problem in human existence, so that's what I did. Oh, look at this beauty. Ah, oh, yeah, that's all thanks to bone meal. Now it's time for one of the most important parts of both Minecraft and Fortnite. Of course, we're talking about trees. To get the most accurate placement of trees, I came up with a pretty complicated plan. First, I started drawing dots on every tree on this map. 
Then I converted this new image into Minecraft pixel art. I generated a command to place it in a creative world. Using world edit I turned every dot into sand. Then I placed the sand above the island so that it falls onto the terrain. Finally I turned sand into dark oak saplings and got a lightmatic schematic. Now I can see exactly where to place trees. Right, so I got all of these iron hoes because apparently I need 2000 dark oak saplings. That is a lot of saplings, isn't that like... 500 trees. Regardless, I found a dark oak forest and started breaking leaves. Right, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> okay, so all of my hoes are broken and I only got 17% of saplings. Okay, this time I'm bringing 18 diamond hoes that are perfectly enchanted for getting leaves. This shouldn't take too long. So I started placing down those saplings. Full squad on me. Yeah, I think they're bots. Crack this shield. Got one, got one. He's one shot, one shot. Bro is literally trash. Got him, GG's. Okay, now that these trees are growing, I'm gonna connect the island to the bottom of the ocean using sand. Yep, it's officially an island now. But to finish these trees, I'm gonna need dark oak leaves. Or oak leaves. See, they look exactly the same and are much easier to get. Okay, I thought I couldn't destroy this forest anymore. Well, <laughs> Anyways, now if we just add more leaves to the side of the tree, we can be 100% done with the island environment. Okay, we're back on the old island to figure out what POIs I want to build. POI means point of interest, and it's basically every location that isn't named on the map because these ones I'm going to leave for the end. Okay, I think I'm going to build the prison first. Okay, so this is the shape that I'm going for. I know it's not too big, but don't worry, other locations will get bigger. And that is the prison done. Now time for the racetrack. First we're gonna build the house next to it. Now using gravel we'll make the track itself. While collecting materials for the next build I nearly hit day 1000. So I decided to stream it on my discord server. Guys 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 we're about to turn to day 1000. Oh my god really? Two. One. I, Misses. It, it didn't turn in, in the menu but I get... Wait wait wait. wait. <laughs> Just missed. Twice. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Let's go. let's go kind of underwhelming but let's go still <laughs> okay shut up <laughs> okay well yeah <laughs> that's it that's it wow a thousand days and that's and and the subscribe button let's go yeah subscribe to zenith guys if you want to hop on next time make sure to join with the link in the description now we're building this car guy truck person wagon dude coupe human Okay, I'll stop. Then I built these suspicious looking RVs. Now we're building these containers that played a very important role in one of the most famous Fortnite videos ever. Yep, that's it. That's where I'll put the factories. Now for everybody's favorite location, the chair. <laughs> that's literally it. Now for the house next to Pleasant Park that at one point actually used to be my landing spot. So I put in some extra effort. Then I built this unnamed house on the hill and started putting more houses all around the island. I wanted 20 of them to be exact. Also, I just realized that I built it in the wrong spot. This is where Tomato Town will go. So I gotta take this down and rebuild it in the correct spot. So I went back to building houses. I had five different color designs, so since I was placing them in pairs, I tried mixing together different combinations and it worked out almost perfectly. This POI is very important to me as it is the first place I ever landed on when I first played Fortnite. And that is this one finished, but there's actually four more of these. Then I built these sniper towers, this gas station, this line of transmission towers, and this little creepy spot. Then I started working on the first named location on my list, the Loot Lake. On the old island there were 13 named locations, but on this one I'm also gonna build tilted towers, cause it's just too iconic to be left out. Now it's very important that this boat is facing this direction. Whoa. Now Wailing Woods might be a forest, but for the center part I actually need to remove some trees. I also gotta gather some moss. It's important to note that I'm starting with the easiest locations and working my way up to the more difficult ones, like Greasy Grove or Retail Row. And that is Wailing Woods done. For Anarchy Acres and Fatal Fields, I need to find a mushroom forest. Found it. Now we just get mushroom stems and we can start building. Now at that point I was really excited as I just had invited 20 Minecraft YouTubers to play a battle royale game on my island. 
However, that meant I only had one week to finish building everything, so I had to work quickly or else some of them would not be able to make it. That is Anarchy Acres done. Let's quickly build Fatal Fields. Ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted a silver play button, and now seeing that it's actually possible really warms my heart. But we are not there yet, so if you want to help me make young Zenny happy, press that subscribe button. While I'm at it, I'm also going to build Dusty Depot. I knew I didn't have much time, but I still had to put effort into making it look good, as it is a lot of people's favorite location. Now it's time for a lonely lodge. This used to be my favorite drop spot, because it's just so peaceful and there's a lot of loot. I also have to build this house, and that is lonely lodge done. Moisty Mire is very simple to build. It's just some water, boats, and trees. But in honor of a friend I met early into my YouTuber career, whose name was I Lost Moisty Mire, I'm building this little statue. And I really like the way it turned out. I accidentally made Flush Factory massive, which meant I needed a lot of materials. Starting with andesite, also some deep slate, and yeah, that's about it. I have the rest in my storage. I actually put a funny easter egg in this build, so I really hope someone lands here during the event. Salty Springs is my least favorite location on the old island. But here I tried some original roof designs to make it more interesting. It's still a boring location. So I have all the materials for Tomato Town except for one item. See, designing a tomato with a smile that does not look like from a horror movie is not an easy task. So for its eyes I went with Wither's Calls. So we need two of them. Come here bro, please drop one. I do not want to spend a lot of time here. Oh snap, I did not mean to do that. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 run, run. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm taking damage. Oh, yes, he dropped one. Nope, my skull. Oh, leave me alone, guys. Okay, I'm on fire again. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought he was coming to kill me. <gasps> we got all the skulls. So I asked ChatGPT to tell me something interesting about Tomato Town. And it said that apparently there's also a real-life Tomato Town in Florida, USA. Which is known for its tomato farms, tomato themed events, and it is possible that the creators of Fortnite took inspiration from this real life location when designing the fictional tomato town in the game. Alright, let's place the Wither Skeleton Skulls. Oh, I love how it turned out. Then I built the competitive restaurant, which was a bit easier to make, though in order to make the burger look nice, I had to make it extra large. There were also these two houses. Now I tried getting ChatGPT to tell a joke about Pleasant Park, but to be fair, he kind of sucks at humor. So instead, I'd like to give a massive shout out to Trippy Dog. Without him, this project would not even be possible. The link to his channel will be at the end of the video. For retail row, I need over seven stacks of bricks, meaning seven stacks of clay, meaning that will take a long time, and the battle royale game is happening in two days. I also need some cobwebs. Actually, placing these blocks is the easiest part of the whole process. The most annoying thing is getting materials for every single build. But we are on a final stretch here. There's only a few things I need to do before the island is 100% complete. But before we build Tilted Towers, I want to construct a massive battle bus in the sky. To do that, just like in every episode so far, we're getting sheep. This time, it's because I need plenty of light blue wool and even more regular wool. That should be all we need, and for the final time I'll actually show you how I build these things. So first I gotta find the correct position. I would often use the tweak or free camera to see it better. Then I just go to that place, turn on easy placing, and just build until it's done. I just gotta hold my right mouse button. That's literally it. Okay, and the battle bus is done, we can finally move on to our last location. Of course, Tilted Towers is a pretty big location, so naturally I need to collect some materials. Most of them are easy and I already had them in my storage, but I need to go get 28 quartz, 64 granite, 380 diorite, and 466 bricks. First we're getting the brown stuff, now time for diorite, now quartz, more quartz, finally a lot of clay. Why is this machine so loud? Now we gotta wait for all of it to smelt, and we'll officially collect all the items we need. That's all the blocks prepared. Alright, let's build it, I guess. I'm pretty sure ChatGPT just thinks every Fortnite location is inspired by a real place. Check this out. According to game developers, Tilted Towers was inspired by a real-life location called Times Square in New York City. The developers wanted to create a location that was fast-paced, densely packed with buildings and offered a high-risk slash high-reward playstyle for players. I don't know whether it's true or not, but the island is completely done. Yo, they're all jumping out. Where are we dropping, boys? Oh, this is so cool. The OG map? Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Race track. Uh, Did you die? Are you serious? <laughs> I see a person. I see a person, bro. Someone is already fighting. No, that's someone else. That's someone else. No, 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 no. Hello? 
My internet's so. Are you kidding? Why? Oh, can we go to the funny looking mustache okay. man over there? Oh, I got a shield. That's an easy win then. Ah, uh, there's a person in this house. Let's get him. Let's get him. Hey! 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 I'm getting assaulted! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I could hear someone. Oh, there's someone behind us. There's someone behind us. Dude, he shot me. He shot me. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Let's get him. Let's get him. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, run, 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 run. run. Oh, we're getting shot at. We're getting shot at. Oh, I see him from the window. Okay, uh, there's two of them. Oh. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, two hearts. Get this first guy. Target target this guy over here. We got him. We got him. Oh, shoot. You died. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, this is the team. The green team. There's somebody behind you. Somebody behind you. Come on. Run. Run. No. No. Oh, shoot. oh, someone behind us, someone behind us, there's someone over here, come over here, come over here. I'm gonna push the shift. Oh, we got him. No! I got two, I got two. There is, there is. Yeah. Don't die, don't die. On me, on me, on me. I'm gonna die. No. Oh, I died. Okay. Oh, and of course, oh, now my internet comes back. Why? <laughs> What's the purpose? Oh, I'm back! I'm back! I'm dying to storm! What is this? No! <laughs> what? Oh, I found another curse. I, it was a trap. Oh, wait, I'm actually stuck. Yeah, I have a pro, I have a pro. Okay, I cannot miss this bull. Oh, just shoot him. We can get him, he's right here. He's popping right here. Bro, you see the animation he has? Got him, got him. Oh, I see them, I see them, I see them. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Yeah, but we, we, we pretty much win. Bro, it's yeah. only us versus them. Do you want a god gap and rush? Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, behind. Somebody shooting. They slowed us as well. Watch out, watch out. He's right here. He's right here. Get, the, get this guy with the iron armor. Ah, oh, I oh. died. We got one. Come on, Krillay. I believe in Krillay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Bro, help, help, help. Yes. No! I'll avenge you. It's literally a 1v1. There's no way. He's chasing, he's yeah. chasing, he's chasing. You got this, you got this. He's low, he's low. Oh, okay. Watch out, watch out, watch out. You got this, you got this. Bro, I can't he's shoot. shoot. He's right there, he's right there. You got this, you got this. He's right behind you. No, I'm gonna die! Just keep shooting him. Get away, get away, get away. He's gonna oh, die. Clearly. That's it. This is gonna die. Bro, I don't have any guns with, like, ammo. He's right behind you. Come on. Can I, can I kill him with the pickaxe? pickaxe? Bro, I have no ammo. Go into the purple house and wait till he gets in and just pickaxe him in a corner. Camping, he's inside, he's inside. Watch out, watch out, watch out. It all comes down to this. I have ammo. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! You know what that means? I'm gonna build you a custom statue in my world. Well, let's go. Uh, anything you wanna say? Subscribe to Create Late and subscribe to Zenith.